Um, my dad, I feel like he has been a pivotal person through all of that. Um, my mom as well. Um, my dad, he, I, I'll tell, I'll say this. My dad was there, but he wasn't there. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, he was like present when he needed to be. But like there was a lot going on because he being a pastor, but also being a musician and being in a quartet band and he was gone all the time. So my mom had to pick up the pieces for a lot of things. There was moments where I saw in my house where my mom, she didn't have food, but she made sure that we had food, me and my brother. And so we lived in this small little house that was like two hundred and fifty dollars like a month. Right. Wow. Um, and it was filled with like roaches and, and stuff all the time. But we lived in that because that was what my parents could afford at the time. Right. Wow. So like, I'm so grateful for the things that happened in my life because it made me the humble, but also grateful person that I am now. And yeah. so that's why I push so hard. A lot of people ask me all the time. They're like, why do you push so hard in what you do? Like, why don't you like rest your brain like sometimes? And I'm like, there's no time to rest. There's no time to be able to like chill out because like I know that there's a a, a calling on my life and I know that there's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be doing something that is that is what I'm doing, which is country music. And I know that this is my calling. So I cannot just stop just because you know, life wants me to, st or like y'all want me to stop. No, I'm not going to do that. Right. Yeah. I'm going to keep pursuing it. I'm going to keep going because I know that there's somebody behind me that is probably going to be, that's looking up behind me and saying, yo, like I want to be like Tay. Yeah. I get so many of those messages all the time, yeah. but that shows me that I'm doing the work that I'm supposed to be doing for, Absolutely. for God, you know? Yeah, so yeah. 